Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Jan if you're new here. Today we're going to make some crusted Parmesan chicken tenders. Now I'm using strips only because I had already, when I put these in the freezer, I had cut them all in strips already. You're welcome to use breast. Um, you want to thin them out as best you can though. So if you get the, the big thick breast like I do, you're going to want to slice it long ways down the middle. And you might want to beat it out a little bit. You just want to make sure everything is like the, you know, the same thickness so that it all gets done at the same time. So for covering our chicken, we're going to use salt and pepper. And if you like, use garlic powder and onion powder. These two are up to you. But covering the chicken, you're going to need at least four ounces of Parmesan cheese. You can get this, you know, pre sliced stuff or just shred your own like I am and you want at least four ounces of sour cream now this is only one chicken breast so that is why I'm using only four ounces of the Parmesan and the sour cream anything you know more than this especially like if you're gonna do two chicken breasts you definitely want to double this and use eight just make sure you use equal parts Parmesan and sour cream because when I finish shredding this Parmesan, we're going to mix the sour cream in with it. So for the moment, I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to put some salt and pepper on our chicken strips. I have dried these off too. Patted them dry. That's important. A little bit of pepper. A little onion powder. A little bit of garlic powder. I'm also about to preheat the oven to 350 Fahrenheit. Okay, let's finish shredding our Parmesan. Oh yeah, we're getting there. Yeah, that's how much cheese we ended up with. I think that is probably a little more than uh, four ounces, but that's all right. I might take a little bit out to go on top of my salad. Right, now we're going to take this is eight ounces of sour cream, so we're going to take half of it. me and uh, with the sour cream you can use light that's what I've got um, but you don't want to use uh, fat free now you want to mix your sour cream and your Parmesan cheese together very well now as far as your crust you can use anything you want you can um, this is what I'm going to use Pecamino Romano Panko I love these breadcrumbs. Uh, you can you can make your own breadcrumbs with some stale bread if you want. Uh, you can use croutons. You can crush them up or grind them up, however you want to do it. Okay, that's what we look like. All right, I'm gonna get my chicken in here, and then I'm gonna wash my hands, and then we're gonna season. This back side of the chicken. Now I, I know the cheese and sour cream mixture I made is way too much uh, to, for this little bit, but that's all right. I can put it aside and use it for something else. I've got more chicken. So okay. Okay. Well, yeah, more pepper to this top side. No salt. And I don't want this too garlicky, so I'm not going to add any garlic powder to this side, just some onion powder. Now then, we're going to take our sour cream and parm mixture. And you want to make sure every 
ounce of the chicken is covered with this. And make sure your oven is preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I believe that's 180 Celsius. Okay, I, I just already know what this is going to taste like, y'all. Uh, if you've never tried this, please do. Alright, so now then, I'm going to take these breadcrumbs. Start with a quarter cup. Is that right? Yeah, quarter cup. So, at least for just one chicken breast, you're going to need slightly more than a, than a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. Now, I mean, if you want to pile them on, you know, be my guest. You can do that. It's up to you. I think this is plenty right here. All right. Okay, y'all. Crusted chicken parm into the oven 45 minutes, 30 to 45 if you're making only this much. Uh, otherwise, 45 minutes to one hour. You want the meat to be 165 Fahrenheit, and you'll know it's done then. Okay, I realize I'm cheating y'all. I think I've told y'all in at least one other video that I love these. Um, I don't know if any of y'all had this before. This is the, the ranch version, but anyway, I'm getting ready to make these, and then our chicken will be out of the oven in just, I mean, five or ten minutes. All I'm going to do is mix this package. It's uh, four ounces. Four ounces, 113 grams. I'm gonna mix this with two cups of boiling water, and that's it. Here we go, y'all. Yeah. I don't want to risk using a glass bowl. Now then, I'm just gonna take a fork, and you're just gonna keep mixing until it thickens completely up. And I'm just gonna put like a plate or something over this and let it sit here for five minutes. By that time, this will be ready, and our chicken will be out of the oven. Mmm, oh, that smells so good. I wasn't sure if I'd like this ranch kind, but it's, it's delicious. So far, I can only find it in one store, though. I'm going to add a little pepper. I like a little pepper. And that's it. All right, y'all, I'll be back with our chicken. And here we go, y'all. This only stayed about 40 minutes, and uh, I checked it, and the temp was 165, so I went ahead and took it out. It smells so good. All right, I'm going to get our plate fixed. Okay, y'all, here we go. Got our ranch mashed potatoes, got us a little Caesar salad, and our Parmesan crusted chicken. I don't even need a fork. I'm mean, gonna need that knife. Mm. Mm. That's amazing. Mmm. Yeah, I'll make you some of this. It takes only a couple of seconds to, you know, get this ready for the oven. You truly do not need a lot of seasoning on this. Just give you, you know, a little bit of salt and pepper on your chicken. Add a little bit of garlic and onion if you want to, like I did. But between the Parmesan cheese 
mixed with the riches of the sour cream and then covered in the seasoned panko. Mm. Get some more of that yummy sour cream and cheese mixture. Mm. Okay. I'm going to go stuff my face. Please try this, y'all. I truly appreciate y'all being here. And again, I'm, I'm still working on trying to get better. Um, hopefully, I'll have some better news this coming week. I really appreciate all of you, and I hope you have a pleasant weekend. Thank you.